Hey Causeway Kids, I'm so happy that you are joining us today. No matter where you are, whether you're at home or church, we have a super fun program planned for you. So let's stand up and worship our God together. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he does. He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me. He's got a really, Really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. No, that's what I know. That's what I know. No, that's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season. Yeah. His plans are for a reason. Yeah. I know they are good. I know they are bad. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad, hey, when I am afraid.
Those songs were amazing. I love how they remind me all about God's plans for me. And I hope they remind you of God's plans for you. This month, we've been talking all about Joseph and the plans that God has had for him. Let's go see what Manny's up to in the clubhouse and hear that last part of our story. Ho, ho. You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Mm, yep, I have strawberries for Kai and uh, gummy worms for Lucy. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Manny, and I'm so happy to see you today. So I'm making sure we have all the things we need for everyone to follow their ice cream sundae plans. Let's see. Kai wants vanilla ice cream. Check. Lucy wants chocolate ice cream. Check. Now let's check our toppings. Kai wants whipped cream. Check. And strawberries. Check. Lucy wants gummy worms. Check. I want chocolate syrup. Oh, and sprinkles. Lots of sprinkles. Wow, I think we have everything we need for everyone to follow their ice cream sundae plans. And each plan is different. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? Following some party plans, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Everybody has a different plan for their ice cream sundaes. You have many different plans. It's true. I have a story about the best plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Ready? And go! <laughs> oh, hi friends! I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane, and her friends, Goldie and Barkley. We're celebrating Ice Cream Sunday Month with a doggy Sunday party. I think they like them. <laughs> We're also celebrating because we have been learning about God's plan for Joseph, and today we get to hear the last part of his story, and it is awesome. Do you know who this is? Yep, it's Joseph. He always trusted in God's plan. And these are Joseph's 11 brothers who got super mad and jealous when their dad gave Joseph a special coat and didn't give them one. So they stole the coat, threw Joseph in a hole, and sent him with people who took him far away from home where he was thrown in jail. Then Joseph was taken out of jail, helped the Pharaoh learn about his dreams, and got put in charge of giving hungry people food. Wow, three cheers for God's plan. God's plan is awesome. Hip, hip, hooray. Can you say that with me? Ready? Hip, hip, hooray. One more time. Hip, hip, hooray. No matter how hard it was, Joseph knew that God loved him, that God was always with him, and that he could trust God's plan. But that's not the end of the story. There is more to God's plan. Remember Joseph's brothers? Well, now back at home, wait a minute. Stormy Jane, you're not a brother in this story. Get out of there, silly dog. That's better. Okay, so back at home, the brothers were super hungry and had no food. And guess where they had to go to get food? You got it. They had to go see Joseph because he was in charge of all the food but they didn't know Joseph was in charge. Well, one day, Joseph was at the palace when his brothers came looking for food. Joseph was so surprised to see them. Show me your surprise face. <gasps> That's good. Joseph had a choice to make. Choice one, he could forgive his brothers and give them food to eat. Or choice two, he could just send them away hungry. What do you think God wanted Joseph to do? 
choice one. You're right. That's exactly what Joseph did. Joseph forgave his brothers and gave them food to eat. He even gave them a hug and was happy to see them. It was the best ending to the story because Joseph followed God's plan. I love how Joseph followed God's plan. I want to follow God's plan, and you can too. God's plan is the best plan. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. God has the best plan of all for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. Joseph's life really shows us how God's plan is always the best plan. God loves us so much and always has the best plans for us. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! God's plan is always the best plan. But we have some great plans for our ice cream sundae party too. I can't wait for the party to start. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! What a great ending to our story. God wants us to forgive others. And I love how Joseph in the end forgave his brothers instead of sending them away to go hungry. Right now, Rebecca's got our memory verse. So let's go check her out now and join along with her if you can. Hi guys. We're going to do the memory verse for this month. The memory verse is, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Let's do that one more time. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Bye. Our activity this week is called Scoop and Pour, and just like the video, we'd love for you to have an ice cream sundae party with your children. You can use this time to talk about God's plans and the plans that he has for maybe you and your kids. You can even talk about the plans that you think God has for your children. Talk about too the story of Joseph and the plan that God had for him. Well guys, that's it for this month. I hope you've had lots of fun learning all about how God has a plan for you. See you next time. Bye.